Smith and oh my god, CLC didn't even get me started with the song No. When that song came out, everything that I didn't like, or whenever some the answer to something was no, I would always go like No. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I saw that Sorn from CLC has posted her makeup routine, so I had the idea not the original idea, the idea to do like following, wait what is it called again, like following, trying to follow a so and so's makeup tutorial, whatever, whatever. So I was like, oh, okay, I want to try it because, you know, I love me some CLC, I love me some Sorn, I've seen her in, also in Eddie's video, Edward Avila, where he does her makeup and she seems like really cool and down to earth and oh my god, CLC. Didn't even get me started with the song No. When that song came out, everything that I didn't like, or something that I was, the, what the answer, wait. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you wait. Whenever some, the answer to something was no, I would always go like, No. So, as I said, I'm gonna try to follow her, um, makeup tutorial. So, let's. Check it out. How about that? Hi guys, it's me, Sword, and you're back. With hey, girl. Sword. Oh, okay, intro. Today is a very special day because today is my first day filming my own beauty content. I recently decided to start doing. She's my so own pretty. Like what? Because a lot of you have been asking, how do I do my makeup every day? How do I get my hair done? How do I get face done and all that. I know it's not really interesting, but I guess some of you are really interesting about Yes, girl, tell us. Show us your secrets. I'm telling you guys from the beginning until the end about all the things I do to get this. So don't forget Ugh, to Stunning. Soon. Bye. And let's go. So, this is my fair face. Some of you might have... She looks pretty already without makeup. This is already starting at a very unfair point. Because she's already looking like a freaking goddess, and I'm already here. I'm over here looking like a damn baked potato. Like, I've seen my bare face on Eddie's channel. I did. Of course, he did my makeup. I'm not good at makeup myself. Girl, so same. We're on the same boat. Follow, follow. If you don't just want to watch, just watch. I start off with using a toner. This toner, toner is okay. from Cosrx. This is my second bottle with Cosrx right here. It comes in a pad like this, so it's... Okay, she's using toner, like already pre-soaked pads. I don't have that, but I'm going to use my regular toner with a cotton pad. So I'm using the Neutrogena alcohol-free uh, toner. It's really, really easy to use because I don't want to use a lot of cotton because I just have to pour in too much toner because it's such a waste. Put it on my face. Okay, she's wiping her face. Let's, let's do that. I feel like using a toner is better because my skin feels way better. But to be honest, I've heard from someone saying that if you clean your face right, then you actually don't need a toner. True. Okay. I, I think so. I think it's true. We could, I don't have the best skin right now, to be honest, because I haven't been sleeping really well these days. Girl, she doesn't have the best skin. Like, look at her. Look at her. Tell me her skin isn't like fabulous right now. Girl, your face is flawless. Now that I'm done with my toner, I will be using a moisturizer. Hello, moisturizer. hi Aluron from Blackvert. Let me grab my moisturizer. Basically used all everything. I'm not the type of person who uses a lot of Gucci products. I just Same. use whatever. I, I can't afford it. At home and whatever looks okay on the shelf. Okay me. Oh my god, so relatable. Um, I'm going to use the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is so good. Like, if you live in very cold weathers, like I do, or if you have really super dry or dehydrated skin, this is so good. They also have a formula for um, uh, oily skin, where it's more of a gel formula. This is uh, the cream version. I have the cream. 
because I have oily dehydrated skin and right now we're in the middle of winter here in Canada so it's super cold. Okay, so just rubbing it on. Gentle. Hey. Okay. Oh. Next, I will be. Wait, girl, hold on. Wait. You have the magic of editing. I don't. Well, not in real life. Okay. Using my Power 10 Formula VC Effector from It Skin. Wait. Isn't this like. I think that's kind of like a. An ampule, I think it is. But we put moisturizer on already. Do we even have an ampule? I think that's kind of like a hyaluronic acid type ampule. Um, so I'm going to use my The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc. I actually don't know why I'm using this product, but oh, nice. I ordered this for my sister. And I accidentally ordered like four bottles and she wanted only three. So I just kept one for myself and I just have been using it ever since. Oh girl, you know damn well that if I order like too many of a product, me and my bank account would know right away and we're requesting a refund so fast. So fast. Oh my god, it feels so weird to put like an acetamide on after my moisturizer. <laughs> Next is a very important product that you always have to put on when you are in your house, when you're outside. I really recommend you always have a sunscreen. And sunscreen. Anti-pollution sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Plus 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 plus. So for um, sunscreen, I'm going to use the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence. Um, this one is also just like hers. It's 50 plus S is SPF 50 plus PA quadruple plus and this packaging it's like it was like a limited edition packaging because for, I think it was for like spring or something like that this is the product that I'm using I use a lot of Innisfree products I really like Innisfree it. is a really good brand is one really light and two I love the smell this one also is really light it's really lightweight it's like as a, the name says it's a watery type consistency and it it doesn't leave that very like stark white cast on the face even if for me that I have dark I have a darker skin tone it doesn't leave a white cast but of course if you take like flash photography probably it's gonna leave like a, it's gonna show up in pictures if you use flash but it also has it smells like peony too it does it does have a fragrance so if you have super sensitive skin or you don't really enjoy fragrance in your products, maybe this one is not right for you. But as you can see, like I touched it and it already blend it's blending out into my hand. It's oh, I love this sunscreen so much because it's literal it's literal water. But there is some alcohol now that in I'm this. Pretty much done with my Wait. hair. As you can see, it like blends right away into my skin. Okay, moving on. I'm going to put a bit of lip balm. Lip balm. balm it Essential. Um, I don't know where I put my other lip balm, but I, the one I have here at hand is the Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. And I have the one in the scent Berry. I actually got this because everyone and their mother wouldn't shut up about it. So I was like, okay, let me try it. Maybe it's really that good. I tried it. It's it's okay. It's. I mean, the way people would talk about this, you would think that like it pays their taxes, like it brings them breakfast, like in the morning in bed, like. But it's it's a lip balm. <laughs> I mean, is it bad by any means? No, it's not bad at all. But is is it like anything miraculous? Not really. I'm sorry if I look really tired because like when I don't have makeup on my eyes are really droopy so that's why I always have my cat liner. If you look at my face for too long you can get really sleepy so I'm really sorry for that. I'll try to get onto the Just makeup as fast as I can. I will be doing my foundation. Let's get it. So, so I feel like for an everyday makeup a cushion is enough. Okay. And the cushion that I'm using right now is from Too Cool For School. 
our class studio. Sunyan and Elki is also using this product. Okay, cushion. I do have a cushion if I can find it. So she's using a cushion foundation. Um, I actually made my own cushion foundation. Um, so the case is from uh, Berisum and it looks like this. Um, this actually, this little design right here is like a stick on design that it came with like the cushion. The cushion itself I think was like bare and there's like three different options of, of like um, little like covers that you can put on it's really cute and but I mean the color wasn't for me so I made my own and this is what it looks like inside so that's my color I actually have a video on how to make your own BB cushion if you have a hard time finding your own color um, so I will link it I think it's up here uh, somewhere like up here on the little eye um, but if you are, have a darker complexion, there's actually this brand recently, Diva by Diva said, that makes their own, also make BB cushion for darker complexions. Definitely check them out, check them out if you're interested. It can look a little bit lighter than my actual skin because I am the type of person who I like to use my foundation one color lighter than my actual skin. Fair yes. enough. That makes you feel good. So okay, don't girl. you guys dare judge me about the color that I'm using. I didn't say anything. I, I swear. So. I didn't say anything. As you can see, my cushion foundation matches me because it's a it's one I made for myself. So the color match is spot on. Let's cover up these sins right here ain't nobody want to see them at least i don't my neck is darker than my face as you can see so i always try to blend it down a little bit but i don't honestly i don't i don't really care but i, le I at least try to blend it along my jawline so that there's no like that super big difference between my neck and my face i don't like to apologize in advance if my angles and everything looks kind of weird because I actually don't know what I'm doing. Girl, I'm same. Do it. And as I warn you guys, I'm not a professional. Don't worry about it. But we I'm out done. here. I will be going on to the next product that I use. Another product from Innisfree. It's called No Siva Mineral Pack. Ooh, wait, wait. I, I, I got this. I got something. Well, it's not the pack. I have the loose powder version. It's the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. Tap 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 and just put it on. Tap it. tap tap. Wait, she's not putting concealer on? Oh, please tell me she's not putting concealer on after powder. Okay. Now my set is fit. My set is face. My face is set. This is so good. It kind of gives that kind of like a like blurring effect to the skin. It looks really good. Now it looks me looks a little bit chalky on camera, but as it settles down, it's gonna be fine. Concealer crayon from Concealer Crayon. Oculus Professional. Talked about this a lot of times. I'm going to uh. use this to conceal all the problems in my life. Girl, pff, I would need a whole lot of crayon for all the problems in my life. I don't really have a crayon concealer. So I'm going to use my regular concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. So I guess I'm going to put it too where I think I need it a, a little bit, a little lot. And she blended it out with her finger, so I guess I'm going to blend it out with my finger too. Do I look like Sorn yet? using a Revlon Naughty Nude number 6 I got this Oh it's a blush from... blush 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 <laughs> I stole it from her makeup desk when I LOL <laughs> last time. Um whatever Okay she's using a pinky like blush so I'm going to use one two what I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me blush this one's in the color Berry, number 55 Berry. Looks like this. Looks much more like chalky on camera. I don't know, like, I still need to figure out, like, the 
color settings or how to like color correct in editing but I don't know how to do that yet I'm sorry I don't even oh my god I forgot how pretty this blush is what the heck it's a very like it's very pretty for like darker skin tones it's pink enough where it looks like a natural flush but it it's not that very like neon pink where it's like BAM in your face blush you know I don't even think you can see it properly on camera but it's super pretty I need to use this more often but I guess it's fine that it doesn't show up as much because even hers it's a very light wash of color this is also another product from Too Cool For School so she's going to into shading or like what we would call like contouring I grab a brush a lot of Korean people use this. Yeah, I've really seen that in today. so many like beauty in K beauty tutorials. That that's like one of the go-to's. I'm the type of person who, if I use a product, I will never change it. If I like it, I will never, never, ever, ever change it because I don't like to spend my money on any makeup. <laughs> I just like I just enjoy trying different makeup and like play with it and just try it out. And you know, then complain about being broke after, you know, love it, love it. Um, I'm using this contour, this contour duo. It's literally the only contour product I use. Okay, let's, let's make my face small. Same girl. Her face is really small too already. And then I'm gonna contour my nose also. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't finish with my double chin yet. Be gone, double chin. And then I'm gonna contour my nose also. Oh my god, I suck at contouring my nose. Okay, I'm gonna use a brushy. Brushy, brush, brush. My big ass, my big ass nose. I honestly don't know how to contour my nose, so I don't really contour it to be to begin with. Plus, I have a really oil. Oh shit! Can you see this dot here? Oh my god! Oh my god! Plus, I have a very oily T zone, and my nose, especially this area right here and my cheeks right here, gets super oily to the point where like it breaks down my foundation. And stuff so I don't really bother putting a lot of product in this area usually because I'm like why bother putting caking on makeup on this area if it's just gonna like get breaking breaking broken down by my oils so I just usually I don't really put even foundation here I just powder it so she contours like right here and then brings it down I think but then again we don't have the same face structure. Did that even do anything? I don't know. I don't know how to contour, guys. Oh my god. Okay. Moving on. Fashion brow by Maybelline New York. Oh, she uses brow powder. Another thing I don't use. In the middle right now because I just had my hair, so I have to keep my eyebrow really light. I normally dye my eyebrows, but I didn't have time. I'm going to fill in the shapes first. Okay, she's using kind of like a small flat brush. I think I'm going to use this small brush with the same contour powder because I don't have a really, I don't really have a brow powder. So hopefully this is dark enough to fill in my brows. Wait, this brush is too fluffy. Hold on. Oh, it looks really natural. I'm personally used to, um, like, uh, very th thin brow pencils, like this one. This one is one of my go-tos. It is the NYX, um, micro brow pencil. And I love these because they have a spoolie on one end, and then they have the pencil itself on the other. And it's really small. That allows me to, like, do very, like, small strokes to make it look more natural. Because I do like kind of like hair strokes, and I need 
my brows as you can see are not you know how people go be like oh your brows are sisters they're not twins girl my brows they're not even they're not sisters they're not twins they're not even like cousins they're not even distant relatives they're not even like you know when you have that one relative that you didn't even know existed they're not even that that's how like different my brows are the struggle oh I, th I think we're onto something they're not are they my best brows no because I'm not used to filling them in with powder and a pencil uh, and a pencil and a brush okay I'm low-key triggered by how different my brows look but I think that's the best I can do with what I have right now the eyeshadow that I've been using from Ooh, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. is 16 plus color bomb eyes number two volcano okay it looks like it's a bunch of like neutral colors I'm going to use this is the Stila eyes are the window eyes are the window shadow palette and this was in is in the uh, version soul and I'm using this like nude beige color I'm not so good at makeup so the Same. only color that I use is pink pink as my base it looks like she's using it as a, as a base so I'm gonna put it all over I don't think a lot of you can see the color too well because I don't really use a lot of makeup on the face. I'm trying to make it visible. And then I'm gonna use the pink over here. A pink? pink? It looks like almost like a mauvey pink. So that kind of, I don't really have that kind of pink that she's using. Um, so I'm going to like maybe try mixing colors. Um, I'm going to try and mix. Uh, which one? Maybe like this one. Oh, this one. It's called. It's from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and it is the color Buon Fresco. Oh. It's this one right here, and um, but it shows like gray on camera, but it's more of like a washed out pink, and maybe add a touch of love letter which is this deeper pink just a touch of, a touch of it just to bring the pink out a little bit more pink over here I want to see in kind of like the middle of my eyes okay in the middle she's using the same brush I think oh my god this mirror is so dark she's using very light light colors that are more like a, a wash of eyeshadow rather than just pigment which is makes sense because it's kind of like the korean style of makeup so i'm going in with a very light hand with these shadows because these are super pigmented so pigmented oops you can see the light from the mirror the reflection of the mirror I'm using a Slim Tech Pencil Liner 1.5 mm from Clio Professional. I'm going to use this to fill, to draw my eyeliner. Super slim. Oh, nice. I, I have a slim eyeliner like that somewhere. I have the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. It is a crayon like this it's it's pretty much the same type of crayon that she's using where it's super um tiny i don't know i don't even know if you can see it this is really scary so for those of you who really cannot take this you can skip this part if oh is it okay, is it tight lining don't tell me she tight lines you guys can watch it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this pencil i'm just gonna pull it up i i don't know how to tight line especially by pulling the eyelid plus as you can see, like I have a very, I have a very dark lash line, so I don't even tight line that much. <sighs> Pray for me. I'm gonna do it without like pulling my eye up, my eyelid up. I give up. I was using 
a liquid eyeliner, but I just recently changed to a gel liner. Liquid eyeliner can be too fierce, too strong. I don't have gel eyeliner. But this is a, it says it's a gel crayon, gel pencil. So I'm, I look at myself I'm just gonna stick with this. And then just draw a line up like that. And fill it She's doing a very small wing, so I'm not gonna. Mm -hmm. So this is one side of my wing liner. I'm trying to do like a very, a very dainty, very like liner. I'm using a Shiseido. Oh my god, me too! Color. Shiseido. It can be really triggering, so be careful. I put it close and then I look down. No, don't cry, Zorn. Again. Close <laughs> You guys see the difference? I can't see myself right now, so I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference. I'm going to do the same on this side. Use a Dr. Mascara Fixer from Ed2D. I'm going to use the... Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Make sure that I get my mascara ready. Wait, is it a primer? Make sure that I get the I'm going to use same from the same brand. It's, it's the same thing, but it's a lash primer. And it's like pink. It's actually pink on the lashes too. As you can see. <laughs> oh, she puts it on the bottom lashes too, eh? Look, you, my bottom lashes are almost longer than my top lashes. Like, look. Now for mascara, I'm going to use this one. A lot of you have been asking what kind of mascara I use. I am using Maybelline New York, as always. It's called Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. Looks like this. The last thing that I'm going to be putting on today is my lipstick. Yeah. This is a product from Pia. I think the color is Kurong Kurong. Is it like a gloss? Oh it's no, it's a liquid lipstick. Color. color. I use my lip brush like this. Okay, she's putting it on first. I'm using the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one's in the color Berlin. Oh, she also uses a, a lip brush. I have my lip brush ready. Putting it first with the applicator. Apply it on. And then use a brush. Oh, brush. Ooh, the brush is giving it like a really nice effect. Okay, so this is the final look that I have. Yeah. I don't really use a lot of makeup on my face. Okay, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I tried to follow the her makeup tutorial as closely as I could with the products that I have. So I think it looks pretty good. I think it's it looks really like natural. I think it's very like pretty for everyday um, if you're if you don't wear a lot of makeup or if it's one of those days where you don't feel like you need to put like a whole lot of makeup on It's really pretty. I like it <laughs> So yeah, this is the video and this is the look as I follow um, Soren's makeup tutorial so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next one.